Welcome to the American League Championship Series here with the Angels playing the Los Angeles Dodgers, the quote-unquote extreme air quotes cross-town rivals Angels-Dodgers series. I'm surprised it's taken this long for it to happen, but here we are in 2039 taking on the Dodgers. On the National League side of things, you got the Braves and the Twins. The Braves have already taken the first game of that set. The Dodgers coming off a seven-game series with the Orioles. And uh, we're ready to take them on here. So this Dodgers team, first thing I should look at is how awful this Dodgers team has been uh, for a long stretch. Obviously, they dominate out of the gate, essentially, signing a lot of really good players. They didn't really dominate, to be honest. But they do always sign all the best players. They've had good years. But then from 2033 to 2037, they sucked. Just never anywhere near it. Last year, they were uh, decent. Made it with 86 games. And then this year, back to being a 90-win team. So taking a look at those team stats here. This is the third best pitching team. So we're the first best. We just took on the second best. And now it's the third best pitching team here in the American League, at least ERA-wise, and then runs allowed. Uh, also really good defensively, with a bit better of an offense than us. Tied for third for runs scored. So definitely a formidable foe here. This is a strong team. They've... They've obviously uh, deserved to be here, and uh, coming from the wild card, have fought their way through multiple series, and uh, now we have to uh, beat them. So taking a look at this highly touted pitching staff, you got two real studs here at the top. You got Terrell Zephyrin, who won last year's Cy Young Award in 2038, the right-hander. I mean, look at this guy, 80-grade splitter. Insane. Shit ton of teal over this profile. Had a seven more last year. Not quite that this year, but still very, very good. Then it's Bo Croteau. What a name. Former third overall pick in 2035 out of East Lake High School in California. Another guy, just a ton of teal on this profile. He's 23. He's not even at his full potential yet. He has an 80 grade potential possibility. First year in the rotation. He's been fantastic. Then they also have... Uh, Stefan Saintville, yeah, Saintville, lefty at a University of Maryland, former second round pick. He's put up back to back good years in their rotation. Then they also have Andres Nazario in their rotation, 24 year old, decent player. He's definitely the weakest of the bunch. And then in the bullpen, their best guy is Price Handrahan, lefty, who I've been looking at for a while, Canadian who went to Oklahoma State, put up a really good year. Uh, for the Dodgers this year in their bullpen, they've got Joel Nolale, who's the Tiger King, another lefty who's good. Ben Anderson, former Angel for half a season when we traded for him from Seattle. They've got him on the last year of his deal. Only throwing fastballs pretty much these days. The curveball's not great. Uh, didn't have the greatest ERA season, but his FIP was solid. And uh, yeah, the rest of the guys, just a bunch of like random guys they threw in here. Uh, and then the lineups, Tyler Spangler, former New York Yankee, longtime Yankee, first team with the, or I guess they, they traded him at the deadline. So the Yankees traded him to the Dodgers at the deadline, 70 range third baseman, serious pop. This guy has been around for a long time. He's been one of the better players in the league. He had like one really good year where he won MVP, and then he's been like a steady three to two to sometimes four war player for the Yankees ever since then. Hit some home runs, serious pop, definitely their best hitter. Uh, Dave Maines is their shortstop. Seriously good glove here. Decent bat to go along with it. Then they have Julio Sidris, who is probably their best overall player, like, overall-wise. This guy is a legit menace. First year in the big leagues, three war, 28 home runs, switch hitter, very scary. Uh, Mike Torville, decent, good, really good contact bat for them. Uh, Mike Snyder is their catcher. He's wrecked. David Barajas has some good potential. This is a young team, so they finally got some young... Or, yeah, they definitely finally have some young guys. They got Dylan Troxel, who they picked up in the offseason, who I was thinking about. Uh, but they get him. Has had a disappointing year, but he's definitely got some, some, some good bat. Uh, Jordan Lawler, somehow playing first base for them, uh, even though he's cooked. 
They still got Wahibwa. They got Wahibwa Oloi, former Red. He was on that Reds team that beat us in 2032, was it? And then they got this guy coming off the bench too, this Aruban Dutch guy, right-handed hitter with some seriously good gap power and base running. Uh, yeah, solid player for them. So, solid team. We've also made a couple of changes to our lineup here. Pitching staff, Dan Brannick is back. He has now taken Ron Tipton's spot in the staff, in the bullpen. So Dan Brannick is now a member of our postseason staff here, postseason bullpen. And then on the lineup side of things, we have taken J.J. Weatherholt out, and we have brought in Dave Gaddy. So Dave Gaddy is going to be a part of our postseason team here for this series with that big gap power and the really, really good speed as well to go with it as a lefty bat off the bench. We're excited. Let's hop into it. Bit of a different rotation here because of just how guys, their stamina is and whatnot, but we're going House first game, Pimentel second game, then Hoskins, then Flynn. So Kurt House going for us, St. Phil going for them. The lefty is on the bump, so that means that Carranza is DHing for us. And we're also going to make a change to the lineup here. Suzuki, Padilla, Espinoza, Tiziano, Aquino, Guyton, Carranza, Canalate, and Doors. That's the one to nine. Let's get into it. The top one here in Anaheim as we have home field advantage. Kurt House on the bump. Scroll this frame for him. And Osamu Suzuki getting on second base with a stolen bag. After getting on with either a hit or a walk, who really cares? Juan Padilla here works a full count. Spits on ball four. So first and second here for Juan Espinoza. Lefty on lefty action. He pops one up into center field, caught for out number one. So now it's Tiziano, immediately down 0-2, whiffs on it. That's two down now in the inning. It is Aquino, also whiffs through strike three. We do not do anything in the first. So top two here, score this frame. Bottom two, runners on the corners, but two outs for Suzuki. First pitch swinging. He takes one out to right field, and it is caught on a line by Troxel. We move things on to the third. Score this frame for House. Padilla, or was that Tiziano? It was either Tiziano or Espinoza who just home run. Tiziano, solo shot, and the Angels jump out to a 1-0 home, 1-0 lead. Following the Tiziano home run, nothing else in the inning. Top four, score this frame, bottom four. Guyton's on second base, and Carranza's at the dish, 2-1 count. He takes one out into right field, that'll land in for a base knock. Guyton will hold up at third base, obviously, with his very, very slow legs. 20-grade speed, basically Pulhos out there. So first and third, nobody outs for Canalate. Works a full count. Ground ball right side. That gets through. And the Angels score another. Runner goes first to third. That is uh, Canalate moving up into second. And now it is Carranza on third. So second and third, nobody out. Two nothing Angels. It's Jesus Doors who whiffs through strike three. Now it's Osamu Suzuki. 3-1 count, spits on ball four, and the bases are drunk for Juan Padilla. 2-2 two, two count, ground ball left side, and that is the one thing you cannot do. Brands into an around-the-horn, inning-inning double play, and the Angels only get one that inning, so it's 2-0. Kurt House works a scoreless frame. Bottom five, we get nothing. Top six, they get a runner over to third with nobody out. Nine hitter, 2 0 count to him. He lines one into center field. Conalate throws to the plate, but that will be a sack fly. So a 2 1 ball game now. House does get out of it from there, keeps the lead intact. So bottom six here. And we got first and second, one out for Suzuki. 2 2 count. Ground ball right side. Please beat it out. He does indeed. So he keeps the inning alive with the fielder's choice. Runners on the corners here. Padilla is going to take the first pitch. Ball. Now he's going to try to steal. Suzuki does not like it. 
Swing away. 2-2. Two, two. And Padilla goes down swinging. So we strand two runners. 2-1 two, lead remains. It's top seven, and we're taking House out of the game. So, uh, part of the order here. In the seventh, we're going Yuri Perez. He's coming in the game. Okay. They get runners on the corners here with nobody out for Mike Torville, their DH. Serious contact hitter. Serious contact hitter. Uh, just pitch to him. 2-2 count. Blows it by him. One down. Now it's Ignacio. Aguiar. Or Aguilar. Throw down to second. Is safe. So Barajas gets in there with the swipe bag. One down. First base open. We'll pitch around. 1-2 count. He shoots one out to right field. That'll be caught deep by Espinoza. And even with his arm, that will be able to tag up from third base. Also from second to third. So it's a tie game here in Anaheim. Top seven, it's Dylan Voxel. Let's, uh, or Troxel, what am I saying, Voxel? 1-0 count. He takes one to deep right center field. That's gone, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Two-run shot, Dylan Troxel. And the the Dodgers take a 4-0 lead. I'm also just realizing they have blue numbers on their unis. What is that about? So it's top seven. Yuri Perez not able to get it done in relief here. But can he get it out from here? He cannot. We're taking him out of the game. We are going to bring in uh, Pelmar. So Pelmar comes in the game. I didn't realize it was mid-AB. That's my bad. But Pelmar does come in mid-AB and get the out. So uh, they do tack on three, take a lead, but it's only up by two. Prince Hond or Price Hondrahan, the lefty in the game. All right. Second and third, nobody outs for Chris Aquino. Let's take that first pitch. That's a strike. 2-0-2. Two, oh, two. But it doesn't matter. He takes that 0-2 pitch into left field. That's going to score one. Here comes the second. That's also in there. And the Angels have tied this game at four thanks to Chris Aquino. Drives in the tying runs on a single. And now Derek Guyton's at the dish with Albert Molina coming in to, pinch, or coming in to, to pitch. Looks like he's pretty much all fastball at this point. The splitter does not look great. And uh, we're going to try to steal first pitch here. Aquino, he's off, and he's in there. Scoring position now. 1-2 to Guyton. Takes it to deep left field, but that will be caught for at number one. But Aquino does tag up. So he's 90 feet away, and it's Jorge Carranza. We're going to take that first pitch. It's in there for a strike. Okay, they got the infield in, so we don't want a safety squeeze there. Ground ball. Oh, my God. He still goes, and they still get him, so still 4-4. Four, four. Baranza's on first. Let's see if we can get him on second. He goes, but he's dead meat. He's dead meat. So nothing else going in the inning. Top eight. Helmar's still on. Let's see if he can get... Mm. We want to bring in Osborne. It's top of the order. Tie game. Scoreless frame. It's bottom eight. It's Ben Anderson. Boom. Suzuki's on second. 3-0 count to Padilla with two outs. Spits on ball four, first and second for Juan Espinosa. Works a full count. And he just pops one up to the infield... Three down. So still tied at four. Moving things on to the ninth. And we're in a bit of a sticky situation here. Runners on the corners. Two outs to the nine hitter Mike Snyder. Here for Jeremy Osborne. 1-0 count. Pop fly. Foul territory. Caught by Guyton. And they strand two. We move things on to the bottom of the ninth with a chance to walk it off. Tiziano on fire, facing Ben Anderson. First pitch swinging. 
Ground ball left side. One down. Next batter up is Chris Aquino. 0 1 count. Ground ball right side. Fielded. Two down. So down to the last out, it is Derek Guyton, who has struggled this series, but he has that pop. Take that first pitch. Ball one. Keep taking pitches until you get a strike. All right. We'll swing away from here. 2-2. Two, two. And Guyton pops one up to right where he caught one last inning. And that will be the final out of the ninth inning. We move things on to the tenth. So Jeremy Osborne's going to come out of the game here. Top of the order. Lefty, righty, and Sidrus is... I mean, he kills both sides. It doesn't matter. We're going to bring in Dan Brannick. Dan Brannick, fresh off the IL. Score this frame. Bottom 10 here. Nothing going. Top 11. Score this frame. Bottom 11. Suzuki is on second base with nobody out. Did he just double? That's got to be a double. Double for Suzuki. Fantastic. So he's on second for Juan Padilla. Let's, uh... I don't think we want to bunt with guys who are hitting this well. So we're going to swing away. He's 0-2. Fantastic. Just goes down swinging. Now it's Espinosa. Take the first pitch. Ball one. 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, and he just pops one up in the left field. That's two down. Oh, he drops it! Sidrus drops it! Their phenom left fielder drops the ball, and everyone's safe. Espinosa's on first, Suzuki's on third, 90 feet away with 75 speed. They're never going to see a safety squeeze. They're never... I mean... This is such a college play. Runners on the corners. Let's do it. Ball one. Come on. Get the bunt down, Tiziano. Get it down. Oh, no! All you have to do is just bunt it to first. Come on. Brutal. Brutal. I was just so... That was, that was me, Dan Campbell, and it up there at the end, just going with the trick play. That was... I should have just... I should have... Once it didn't work like the first two times, I should have just went away from it. So now it's two down. Runners on first and second. Two outs. And I think we're going to pinch run for Espinosa just to get some extra speed out there. We're going to bring in Dave Gaddy. He is the one on second base, right? Yes. I didn't like that it went away when I clicked on that. So, yeah. Dave Gaddy comes in for Espinosa. And Chris Aquino take that first pitch. Ball one. 2-0. Full count. Spits on ball four, and the bases are loaded. Here for Derek Guyton, the trade deadline acquisition catcher. Okay. We believe. Take that first pitch. Ball one. Take that second pitch. Strike one. Works a full count. And he pops it up shallow center field. Nothing going. Still 4-4. Four, four. We have an incomplete lineup. Uh, Gaddy is going to go into right field. And uh, we could bring in Velasquez too, but I think we'll leave Gaddy in for now. Yeah. That'll be fine. We'll leave him in for now. And uh, so yeah, top 12. Dan Brannick does need to come out of the game though. We will bring in... Mm, 
lefty, righty, lefty. We'll go Zion. Zion has entered the game. Scoreless frame. Bottom 12. We just walked it off. Carranza. Just boom. Immediately, Jorge Carranza walk off solo home run to lead off the bottom of the 12th. And the Angels take game one in a 12 inning thriller. All right, folks. We're getting ready for game two here. It's Ernesto Pimentel on the hill for us. It is. Andres Nazario, their worst of their four starters on the hill for them. And we have uh, some changes in the lineup. We're rocking the same like alignment we've been rocking, but then even though it's a righty, we're going to rock Carranza as the DH. He hit the walk-off home run last game. It's a, it's just a, it's a gut-feeling move. Velasquez has not really impressed so far. So we're just going to go with Carranza, the switch hitter, see if he can get things done here. Uh, against the right-headed pitcher in that DH spot. And I think we honestly are going to move him up. We're going to move him up to sixth, and then Guyton's going to go seventh. So here we are, top one, Ernesto on the bump. And Tyler Spangler's on second here with one out. Facing Julio Sidris. Pitch around him. Lines one to center field, and over the outreach glove of Conalate. So Spangler... Scores on a double from Sidris, and the Dodgers strike first. Now it's Barajas. Full count to him. Spits on ball four. Now it's Torville. That is somehow lines through the back of doors. They don't test Conalate, though, so it's runners. It's, it's bases juiced for Ignacio Aguilar. One down. Let's uh, pitch to him. 2-0 and count. Little dribbler back to Pimentel. Gets nobody. Literally gets nobody. Forces the pitcher to field and they get nobody. So it's a 2-0 lead for the Dodgers. And now it's Troxel. 1-2. Hits one hard to center, but Conalate's there. That should tag up another one. It's going to be 3-0 for the Dodgers. A disaster first inning. Straight up disaster. 1 2 to Dave Maines. Blows it by him, but they strike for three runs before our offense has even taken the fucking field. But Suzuki gets over at second base, but it's two bats for Juan Espinosa. 1 0 count. And he rips one into the left field corner. Suzuki scores easily, and the Angels. Tacking away. There's a run. Espinosa RBI double. Scores Suzuki. Now it's Chris Aquino. Works a full count. And he goes down swinging. Has not been a pretty postseason for Chris Aquino here. As we move things on, top two. Nothing going for them. Bottom two. Nothing going for us. And they got runners on second and third here, but it's two outs for Dylan Troxel. We're going to pitch around him. 3-1 count. Please don't walk him. Ground ball left side. Diving play Padilla. And then the... F oh! <laughs> Bad throw off the dive. And Aquino can't get the scoop. 4-1 Dodgers. Brutal. Brutal. 70-grade defender. 80-grade defender. And we commit an error. So two down. Dave Maines strikes him out. But they make it to a three-run lead once again. The so bottom three. Padilla's on second with two outs for Tiziano. 2-2 two -two count. Ground ball right side out number three. Nothing going. Move things on bot top four. Uh, can he risp? He can. So bottom four. Nothing going. Top five. I think we go batter by batter. 2-1 count to Sidrus. Ground ball right side. That's one down. Next batter up is Barajas. We'll pitch around him because he has pop. 0-2 count. And he plunks him. 0-2 and you plunk him. That's just unacceptable. Now it's Torville. This will be your last batter, I'm thinking. Pitch around him. 2-2 two -two count. 
And that's going to be blooped in. Right field for a base knock. So first and second, one out. Aguilar is up, and that'll be the end of Pimentel's day. Not a great performance from Pimentel. We're going to Perez. He has entered the game. And uh, facing Ignacio, full count. Please don't walk him. Blows it by him. Next batter up, Troxel. 1-2 count. Brown ball, Tiziano. Out number three. So there we go. Move things on bottom five. Anything going? We got first and second. One out for Suzuki. Full count. Strike three called. Now it's Padilla. 2-2. Two -two. Destroys one right field. Adios, Pelota. Kiss that baby goodbye, and just like that, we have ourselves a tie game. Once again, tied at four. Is anyone else getting deja vu here in Anaheim? 4-4, four, four, Halos, three-run blast, Juan Padilla. So, still here, bottom five, anything else going? Nothing. Top six, scoreless frame for Perez, bottom six, nothing going. Top seven, our pitcher's getting fatigued. What is happening? Okay, so he just allowed a runner with one out. I think we take him out. We take him out. We don't want to force him to go any longer. So Perez is going to come out here in the seventh. Osborne's gassed. So I think we're going to go to Pelmar. He's going to come in. Pitch around Barajas. First pitch swinging. Destroys one to center, but a sliding catch by Kanawate. Two down. Now it's Torville. 1 0 count. There goes the runner. Throw down. Not in time. Sidra swipes second. 1 1 to Torville. Ground ball left side. Doors. Fields. Fires across the diamond. Out number three. 4 4. Score remains. Bottom seven. Guyton with a leadoff double. Doors hitting here. Do something. They walk doors to get to Conalate. That's crazy. That's insane. Swing away. And Conalate bloops one into left field. Guyton, you better hold up. You got 20 speed. He does indeed. So it's bases loaded here for the Halos. Nobody out. Infield is in for the Dodgers. And it's Osamu Suzuki. 2-2 two -two count. Whiffs through it. One down. Now it's Juan Padilla. Take that first pitch. In there for a strike. 1-2. Padilla out to right center. It lands in! It gets past the center fielder, and that's going to score multiple runs. Padilla ends up on second base. At least two are going to score. It does indeed. It's a two-run double, and the Angels have themselves a 6-4 lead here in the seventh inning thanks to Juan Padilla, the man of the game. He's got a three-run home run and now a two-run double. That's five ribbies in this game alone, 10 in the postseason total. He is on fire, folks. So for second and third, still only one out. Tiziano's up. Full count. They blow it by him. So now it's Juan Espinosa, lefty on lefty, Johnny Cobbin, who definitely does have some serious home run suppression against lefties. Espinosa works a 3-0, spits on ball four. The so bases are juiced here for Chris Aquino, and they bring in Steve Laird, who is the one who gave up the walk-off last night. The so bottom seven. 0-1 oh, count to Aquino. Here it comes. High fly ball left field. At the track. At the wall. Reek leaps up. It's gone! It's gone! Chris Aquino delivers a grand slam. I'm not hallucinating. That was a grand slam. That was a grand slam. For Chris Aquino, it's a 10-4 Dodgers or 10-4 Angels lead. They were down 4-0 to this Dodgers team. And Chris Aquino 
who has not been impressed with this postseason, delivers with his first homer of the postseason in a huge spot. Nothing else going for us. We're on to the top of the eighth. Can Pelnar get through this? He can indeed. Bottom eight. All right, we got first and second, one out. Let's just half inning this. We tack on two more. It's 12-4. It's top nine now. We'll just bring on Hedeman to get some work. Score this frame. And the Angels take a 2-0 lead here in the CS as we now go down to actual Los Angeles to take on the Dodgers in Game 3. All right, Game 3 in L.A. Mike Hoskins on the bump for us. It is their ace, Terrell Zephyrin, the man who won the, uh, at the Cy Young last season, on the hill for them. And we have the same lineup going. We're rocking Carranza against a righty once again, giving him one more shot there. If he can't do anything this game and next time he face a righty, it'll be, it'll be back to Velasquez or Velasquez, maybe even Gaddy. Who knows? The so top one here at Dodger Stadium. Scoreless frame for them. Scoreless frame for Hoskins. And we have runners on the corners with two outs for Jesus Doors. First pitch swinging. Deep center field, but it will be caught at the track by Aguilar. Ignacio puts that one away. Move things on. Bottom two. All right. First and second. One out for Dylan Troxel. Lefty on lefty. 3-0. Spits on ball four. Bases are drunk. 2-1 to Dave Maines. That's taken down the line. And the Dodgers once again get off to an early lead. As that'll score two. So it's 2 nothing Dodgers. Second and third. One out. Mike Snyder. 2-0 count to him. Ground ball right side. Another one comes in. Now it's two down. Now it's Tyler Spangler. 2-2 two -two count to him. Whiffs through it. Strike number three, but they do tack on three in the inning. We move things on top three. Nothing going. Nothing going. Nothing going. All right. First and second, two outs for Mike Snyder. First pitch swinging. Pop fly left field. Coming in as Suzuki. Puts it away for out number three. We move things on to the fifth. Who just homered? Who just home? Jesus Doors shows up. It's a solo shot. Gets the Angels on the board. It's 3-1. So Conalate up now. Nothing else going in the inning. Um, this is third time through the order, so I think we're going to take Hoskins out. He's only at 67 pitches. He's still in the yellow. Is a lefty. We'll let, we'll let him face the lefty. We'll go batter by batter. 2-2 to Spangler. Gets him out. Now it's Jordan Lawler, who's... Old and cooked, hitting second for some reason. 2-2 two -two count to him. Fly ball center field. Conalate diving catch. Out number two. Now it's Sidrus. Pitch around him. 2-2, two -two, or 2-0. Two Lines one left field. That will be caught. So out number three. We move things on to the sixth. Zephyrin still on the bump for the uh, Dodgers. Osamu Suzuki. What just happened? Was that Espinoza? Espinoza solo shot. It's a one-run game here in L.A. Nothing else going for us, but we move things on bottom six, and we're going to take out Hoskins. So we're going to bring in bottom six, five, six, seven, up righty, lefty, righty. I think we're going to go Paco. The Brazilian right-hander has entered the game. All right, first and second, two outs for Dave Maines, the eight hitter. One, two count. Blows it by him. Scoreless frame for Paco. We move things on to the seventh. Nothing going for our Bs, our bats. And now it is righty, lefty, righty. With the top of the order coming up in the seventh. So I think we're going to go. We're going to go Zion. No. Uh, I'm going to go Brannick. 
Brannick is going to enter the game. Bottom seven. Scoreless frame. Top eight. Ben Anderson has entered for the Dodgers. All right, we got first and second here. Two outs for Juan Espinosa. Take that first pitch. Ball one. Take that second pitch. Ball two. Now swing away. Works at full. Watches strike three. It's two down. Oh, no, that was the, there was already two. That's three down. God. Bottom eight. Uh, Brannick. Uh, Sidrus Barajas. Let's go batter by batter. Pitcher round Sidrus, 2-2 count. Fly ball, center field. Here comes Conalate, one down. Now it's Barajas. Pitch around him because he's got some pop, 1-1 one, one count. Skies it, right side of the infield. Tiziano comes over. Oh, no, Aquino calls off Tiziano. Out number two. Now it's Torville. Just go after him, 1-0 count. Ground ball right side. Steps on the bag. 1-2-3, go the Dodgers. We move things on, top nine. This is uh, our last chance. Tiziano, Aquino, Carranza. We might pinch hit for Carranza. We'll have to see. But Tiziano up here against Ben Anderson. Take that first pitch. In there for a strike. Just swing away. 2-2. Two, two. Ground ball right side. One down. Hard hit, but right at Barajas. Now it's Aquino. Just swing away. 0-2. Oh, not a great start. But he manages to sneak that over the head of the fielders. Lands in for a base knock. So Aquino gets on first for Jorge Carranza. Can we just swipe second immediately? They know what's coming. They know what's happening. Let's take that first pitch. Strike. Let's swing away then. 0-1. Oh, oh my god. They were playing the lines. And Carranza hits right into it. Uh, all right. All right. They take one game. We're still up 2-1. They take, you know, it, it's not a series until the until the home team loses, as they say. So it's 2-1. All right. It's time for game four. We're up 2-1 in the series. Josh Flynn is pitching for us. Bo Croteau, the great name, is going for the Dodgers. And we have, once again, Suzuki, Padilla, Espinosa. Tiziano, Aquino, Guyton. We're going Velasquez this game, then Doors, then Conalate. There we are, game four, top one. Did not mean a half inning that, but we didn't get anything anyways, so bottom one. And they hit a home run. And they hit another one. All right, Dodgers immediately out to a 2 nothing lead in this game. Top two, nothing going. Bottom two. They get a runner on second. 2-1 count to Snyder. 2-2 two, two now. Whiffs through it. So we strand the runner at second. Score remains 2-0. It's top three. Suzuki's on second here. 2-2 two, two count to Padilla. Two outs. Three count, or 3-2 now. But Padilla just pops one up to right field. Three down. Move things on. Bottom half of the inning. Flynn works a scoreless frame. And somebody just homered. That was Aquino, I think. That was Aquino's second home run. Let's confirm. It was indeed. Chris Aquino cuts their lead in half. It's a 2-1 ball game. Nothing else going. Bottom four now. Flynn works scoreless inning. Velasquez, leadoff double. Jesus doors at the dish. 0-1 count. Uh, Swing away. Full count. Rings him up. Checks his swing. Still strike three. So Velasquez still on second here. One out for Conalate. Let's uh, just swing away. 0-1 oh, count. Conalate. Rounds with the middle, but it is fielded. Velasquez moves to third, but it's two down. He's 90 feet away for Suzuki. 1-2. Whiffs through it. We strand a runner in scoring position. Bottom five, Josh Flynn, 
Two down. Runner on second is Spangler. It's Jordan Lawler at the dish. 2-2 two -two count to him. Non-competitive for Lawler. He goes down. We move things on to the top of the six. That'll probably be Flynn's last inning. We move things on top six. Nothing going. Bottom six. It's Yuri Perez time. He's entering the game. It is Sidrus. Let's just risp. Score this frame. Fantastic. Uh, oh, wait. They scored in the fifth. I didn't even realize. God damn. So we're down two. Top seven here. We're going to go batter by batter this, by this point. So Aquino swinging at that first pitch. Ground ball. Fielded. One down. Now it's Guyton who has been quite disappointing this postseason. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep going with him. 1-2 to Guyton. Whiffs on it. Two down. Now it's Velasquez. 1-1 one, one count to him. He pops one up into center field, but that lands in for a base knock. So he's on first base. Keep the inning alive. He's trying to steal second, and he's going to get in there. So Velasquez in scoring position here with two outs. 0-1 count the doors. Now works at full, and he just swings through strike three. Nothing going. We strand another runner in scoring position to move things on bottom seven. Can Perez get another scoreless frame? Maybe, but there's runner on second, one out. Dave Maines, the eight hitter up. 2-2 two -two count. Pops one up. Left field. What the fuck is that? What was that? You've got to call off the... Oh, my God. That's Velasquez's ball all day. Lands in. Runners on the corners. One out for the nine hitter. Full count. All right. Strike three. Now it's Spangler. I'm terrified of this guy. We're going to pitch around him. 0-2 count. Ground ball. Nice pick by Tiziano. And he makes the play. Man. Tiziano saving the day. Keeping it at 3-1. Move things on top eight. Steve Laird has entered the game. And it's Conalate leading things off. Let's uh, take that first pitch. All right. 1-0. Take that second pitch. 2-0. Full count now. And he just lines one right at the first baseman. Lawler, one down. Now it's Suzuki, who has been slumping as of late. We take a look at his postseason splits. He's still getting on base a decent amount, but he's not really hitting. The right-handed pitcher. I mean, Gaddy is basically just a lesser version of him. O'Brien's a righty. I don't want to bring in Carranza for him. I guess we could. Quintanilla, maybe. We're going to let Suzuki hit. Swing away. First pitch swinging. And he lines one right at Lawler. Two down. Now it's Padilla. One, two count. Goes down swinging. Move things on. Bottom of the eighth. And we are going to bring in part of the order. I mean, we just got to bring in, bring in Osborne. It's 2-3-4. Scroll this frame. So top nine here. This is our last chance. Juan Espinosa. Let's uh, just see what he does. One, two, count. Steve Laird on the hill. Espinosa. Lawler is a ball magnet. Makes another play for one down. Now it's Tiziano. 1-1 one, one count to him. Crushes one center field. Kiss it goodbye. Just like that, it's a one-run game. His third homer of the postseason. Tiziano makes it a 3-2 ball game. And the Halos are back in business here. Chris Aquino digs into the batter's box. Immediately down 0-2. 
But that's another 0-2 hit for Chris Aquino. He's done that twice now. Keeps the inning alive. Derek Guyton's up. He's been quite depressing, to be honest. I'm tempted to, like, pinch hit Carranza or something. We're going to let Guyton hit. We're going to let Guyton hit. He's going to take the first pitch. They're, they're, they know we're going to try to steal. That's a strike. 1-1. One, one. Derek Guyton! The gut feeling to leave him in. He delivers a single. Aquino goes first to third. And we have the tying run 90 feet away. And it's Alejandro Velasquez. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's uh, take the first pitch here. Strike one. Swing away. Pops up in the infield on the 0-1 pitch. Two down. And now it's Jose Jesus Doors. It's like, do we want him to hit or do we want Carranza to hit? It's like, you look at this guy's fucking ratings and it's like, clearly you want this guy to hit. I mean, let's just leave him in. Let's just leave him in here. Take that first pitch. That's a ball. We gave him an advantage. Now we're going to swing away. 2-2. Two, two. He gets it through Jesus Doors with a single. Singles hitter Jesus Doors ties the game in the ninth inning. Steve Laird has blown another save here for the Dodgers. As we tie it in the ninth. And now we're going to pinch run for Guyton. Gaddy is going to come in. The pinch run at second base. Kanalatse here at the dish. We like his bat. We trust him to do what he wants at the plate. It's a 1-0 count. Ground ball right side. Lawler makes a play. But we tie the game at three. We're on to the bottom of the ninth, and the Dodgers have a chance to walk it off. All right. So we have our catcher. Yeah. So that's just going to have to be Haggy. This is Haggy. Haggy comes in to catch. And Jeremy Osborne on the bump. Let's just risp it and see what happens. Score this frame. We're on to the top of the 10th. Albert Molina. The all fastball, no splitter man is on for the Dodgers. Osamu Suzuki works a full count. Here comes the pitch from Molina. Slices one past the diving glove of Lawler. Cannot make a play on that one. Suzuki's speed is on first base. We're going to try to steal immediately. He gets the jump he wants. He slides in. He's in there. In scoring position, Juan Padilla works a full count, and he's plunked. It's first and second. Nobody out for Juan Espinosa. One of our best hitters this postseason. Swing away. 2-1 count. Ground ball. That's a double play. Grounds a 2-1 count into a 4-6-3, and suddenly it's two down runner on third base. Tiziano, first pitch swinging. Crushes one. Right center field. Off the top of the wall, that scores a run, and the Halos have taken a lead. Tiziano's chugging around second, and he's now on third base 90 feet away here with two outs. A two-out triple gives the Angels a lead here in the 10th, and now it's Chris Aquino. Works a full count. Ground ball left side. Three down. So nothing else comes in, but it is a 4-3 Anaheim lead now. And Jeremy Osborne might have enough gas to get through this inning. So pinch hitter Nate Johnson has entered the game here in that eight hole. First pitch swinging. Here it comes. That's taken deep to center field. Conalate ranging back to the track, hauls it in. One down. Now it's a new pinch hitter, Frank Flores. 
The lefty facing Osborne. Does he only pop? He's got 65 gas. Yeah, okay, so he has 60 power against righties. We should be pitching around this guy. The 1 0 count. Weak ground ball, shortstop, doors, fields, fires across. That's two down. Now it is Tyler Spangler, who we are also going to pitch around to. Full count. He lines that one into center field, keeps the Dodgers alive. So now the go-ahead run is at the dish in Jordan Lawler. Cooked Jordan Lawler has been dreadful this postseason, still hitting in the two-hole for whatever reason. Going right after him. 2-1 count. That is over the leaping glove of doors. That lands in. First and second here for the Dodgers. Brings up Julio Sidris. We could either bring in, like, Zion or Pelnar, or we could let our, our dude face their dude. And I think that's what we're leaning towards. He's still in the yellow. We're going to let our dude face their dude. We're going to pitch around him. 0-2. Oh, Line drive into center. That lands in. And it's a tie game. Just like that, it's 4-4. Osborne blows it. We take him out now. It's a righty, lefty, righty. How good against lefties is Torville? I mean, he's the same against both. We'll bring in... Pelmar. Pelmar is coming in to face the right-handed Barajas. 3-1 count. He's going to walk him. No, ground ball. Doors, it gets through! Rounding third and heading home. The throw to the plate. Not in time. Oh my god. Just a whiplash of emotions there. The Angels take a 4-3 lead in the 10th. Go to the bottom of the 10th and Osborne cannot close it out. And the Dodgers have tied up the series with a walk-off hit from Barajas. Alrighty. It is now time for game five. It is tied up 2-2. This is going to be the last game in LA. Kurt House going for us. It's Saintville going for them. One of their one of their best pitchers. The lefty. Uh, we're making some lineup changes here. Carranza and Velasquez not playing. It's a lefty. We've got Juan Quintanilla in the game. He's got this 60i. We are going to rock and roll with him with that 60i and 60 Babip in that leadoff spot. Then it's Padilla. Then Espinosa, Tiziano, Aquino. Then Suzuki, Guyton, Doors, and Conalate. All right, folks. Top one here in L.A. Saintville facing Quintanilla. Nothing going for us. All right, Spangler's on second here with one out. 0-2 count to Sidrus. Ground ball right side. Steps on the bag is Aquino. That's two down. Now it's Barajas. And he hits one a long way left field, but the leaping catch by Suzuki. Robs them of a run. And we move things on top two. Tiziano with the leadoff double. Chris Aquino up, full count. Whips through it. One down, now it's Suzuki. 1-0 count to him. Ground ball left side, fielded two down. Not ideal. Now it's Guyton. 0-2 count to him. And he just pops one up the right field, nothing going. So the Angels can't get anything going. Move things on. We move things on bottom two. Did not mean to do that. I wanted to do Risp. But... You can see Torville leads off with a pop fly into foul territory. And Padilla puts that one away. Scoreless frame for House. Doors, lead off double. That's fantastic. Quintanilla, let's just go half inning here. All right. We score a run. Doors, drew a walk and then stole second, it looks like. Is that what happened? Oh, no. Conalate sack bunted him over. Then Quintanilla struck out. Padilla uh, was up. Doors went to third in a wild pitch. Then he singled, drove in Doors. Uh, Espinosa singled. But we couldn't get anything else in the inning. So move things on, bottom three. Runner on second. One out. Tyler Spangler's up. 
2-2 count to him. A line drive center field. Kanalate makes the play. Two down. Now it's Jordan Lawler. 2-2 count. And he blows it by him. So scoreless frame. We move, we move things on top four. Nothing going. Nothing going. All right. Runners on the corners here for Juan Padilla. First pitch swinging. He takes one into center field, and Padilla continues to deliver. Drives in a run with an RBI single. Makes it a 2-0 Angels lead. Here with nobody out. So first and second for Espinosa. Works a full count. Whiffs through strike three. One down brings up Tiziano. 2-1 count. Pulls one into left field, but it will be caught on a line by Sidrus. Runners stay put. Now it's Aquino. Works a 3-0. Spits on ball four. The bases are drunk for Osamu Suzuki. Works a full count. Rips one into right center field. That's down into the gap, and that's extra bases. That'll score multiple runs. Suzuki has to hold up at second. But it looks like everybody scored. A bases clearing double, four runnings, four runs in the inning, three there on the double from Suzuki. It is a 5 nothing Halos lead here in the fifth. Big time. Anything else going? Nothing else in the inning. Kurt House, score this frame. Nothing else going for us. Score this frame. All right. Second and third. Nobody out for Aquino. Ground ball right side. Nice play by Barajas. One down. Now it's Suzuki. He looks at strike three. Now it's Guyton. 1-0 count facing a new pitcher. Hard hit to center field. Over the head of the center fielder. Guyton delivers. A two-out double drives in two, and the Angels pad on even more. It's a 7 nothing lead here in L.A. Huge. Anything else? Nothing else going. It's bottom seven. Scoreless frame for House. Uh, bottom eight. Probably should take him out. He's, he's gassed. We'll bring in Hedeman to get the multi-inning. End of the game, hopefully. Hedeman works a scoreless frame. Nothing going for us. Hedeman works a scoreless frame. And the Angels blow out the Dodgers here in Game 5. 3-2 series lead as it goes back to Anaheim with a chance to close it out. All right, we're back in Anaheim. It's Game 6. The, blow the wind is blowing right to left at 9 miles an hour. Ernesto's on the bump for us. Nazario, their worst pitcher is on the bump for them, but he did pitch very well in his first appearance in this series. We are rocking Suzuki back in the uh, leadoff spot because it's a right-handed pitcher, so we're not going to play. We're not going to play Quintanilla because we don't really have a spot to put him because the DH is Suzuki, and then the left fielder is going to be Velasquez uh, because he's actually been hitting decently well this series. He's hitting 333, not for power, but he's he's getting on base enough for me to like leave him in the lineup here. So. He's in left. This is the lineup we're rocking. Let's get into it. Top one, back in Anaheim. Angels lead the series 3-2. Tyler Spangler leading things off. And he gets on second here with two outs. So Barajas, 0-1 count. Ground ball the doors, makes the play. Out number three. Scoreless frame. Nothing going for us. Nothing going for them. Nothing going for us. They hit a home run with Spangler. Nothing else going, though, so we're down one nothing. And here we go. Velasquez on second base. 2-1 count to Doors. Now 2-2. And he just watches strike three. Now it's Conalate. 3-1 count. Drives one out to left center field. That'll get down into the gap up against the wall. Conalate gets his fleet feet into second base as he ties this ball game. Drives in the run, and we have ourselves a 1-1 ball game. So Conalate on second. Suzuki, 1-1 count. He rips one into right field. That should score Conalate from second. He's got the fleet feet, and he is in there. 2-1 lead for the Halos. RBI 
back-to-back ABs from Kanalate and then Suzuki. We move things on to Juan Padilla. 0-2 count. He takes an 0-2 pitch into left field. That'll move Suzuki up to second, and it's first and second now. One out for Juan Espinosa. Works a full count. Ground ball right side. That gets through, and we're just moving runners along. Looks like it was Suzuki who scores. It was indeed. So now it's Padilla and Espinoza on first and second. It's a three-run lead for the Angels, or three-one lead for the Angels, two-run lead. Uh, Tiziano's up, works a full count. He goes down swinging. So now two down brings up Aquino. He takes a 1-1 pitch into center field, and that should score Padilla. So another run will come in here for the Angels. It's a 4-1 ball game. Chris Aquino delivers. And now it's Eric or Derek Guyton facing Albert Molina as they have already moved off of their starter here in the third inning. So Molina facing Derek Guyton. Ground ball right side, slow roller. But Guyton is the slowest man alive, so he goes down easily. It's now on to the top of the fourth. And Pimentel gets himself into a bit of trouble here. First and second, nobody out for Dylan Troxel. Full count. Watches ball four. Bases are drunk. Nobody out. Eight nine is up. Let's uh, let's visit the mound here. I'm nowhere close. Sure. Uh, so Dave Maines, just go after him. First pitch swinging. It gets away from Guyton, and they score a run that way. So now first base is open. 2-2. Two -two. Maines rips one into left field. That's caught. It'll tag up the runner from... Th oh, wait, they don't tag up. They don't tag up on that because Velasquez's arm is so good. Wow. The so one down... You don't want to walk the nine hitter. So we'll we'll pitch around him with first base open. 3-2. He takes one to center field. Conalate ranging back makes the catch, but they are absolutely tagging up on that one. So it's a 4-3 game now. Two down, Spangler's up. Full count. Ball four. He'll face Lawler, and if he can't get him out, we're we're yanking him. One, two. All right, gets Lawler. The lead is intact, but it's only a one-run lead now. So we're on bottom four. Conalate on second here with two outs. 2-0 count to Suzuki. Now a 3-0. Spits on ball four, so it's first and second here for Juan Padilla. 3-1 counts. He spits on ball four. Molina can't find the strike zone. That's three walks to his name. And we are now... Cooking. Bases are drunk. Two outs for Juan Espinosa. 0-1 counts. Lofts one into left field. That'll land in. Some situational hitting. Drives in two runs. A two-run single makes it a 6-3 ball game. And the Angels jump out to a 3-0 lead once again. Or a three-run lead once again. First and second. Tiziano. First pitch swinging. Dribbler off the bat, right side. That'll be the end of the inning, but the Angels do tack on two to extend their lead. This will be Pimentel's end of the line here. We're going to bring in Yuri Perez to give us multi-innings. Facing Sidris. Scoreless frame. Bottom five. Aquino's on second. 1-0 count with one out to Velasquez. New pitcher is Johnny Cobbin, the lefty. I mean, he can still hit against lefties. We'll see what he can do. 1-0 count. Gets away, but not enough to move up the runner. The so 2-0 count, now 3-1. And Velasquez, ground ball right side, will move up the runner, but now there's two down. Runner on third for Jesus Doors. First pitch swinging. Ground ball up the middle, drives in another. They tack on another insurance run. It's a four-run lead for the Halos. 7-3 is your score. Your bottom five. Doors, maybe steal second. He's off the throw down. He's dead meat. 
So Doors is thrown out, but we do have a 7-3 lead. Perez. Ignacio's on second here with one out. Dave Maines. 1-2 count to him. Strike three. Now it's Mike Snyder. 2-1 count to him, the nine hitter. Ground ball right side. Gets past Tiziano. That might score a run. It does indeed. So it's a 7-4 game now. Tyler Spangler's up. 1-2 count. Strike three called. Perez gets out of it. Only gives up one run. Move things on bottom six. All right. Kanalate and Suzuki are on first and second for Juan Padilla. 2-2 two, two count. Destroys one into that right center field gap. And Juan Padilla delivers again. That should clear the bases with those speedy legs on the bases. Only brings on one. You're telling me Suzuki didn't get in on that? How? That's crazy. But still a four-run lead here. Runners on second and third. Nobody out. Espinoza, lefty on lefty. First pitch swinging. Dribbler, back to the pitcher. Easy out for Espinoza. So he goes down. Now it's Tiziano. Works a 3-1. He goes out to right center field. That one's off the top of the wall. Bounces away from the center fielder. And that might be a triple. Tiziano, nope, he's a double. It is a bases clearing one though, so a two RBI double. It's a 10-4 lead for the Angels as they are pouring it on here in this game. So now let's just half inning this. Nothing else going. Top seven. He's fatigued. Okay. One down run. We'll let him face this batter and then we'll take him out. The 2-2 two -two count to Barajas. Ground ball right side. 4-6-3 perhaps. That's all he needs, baby. 4-6-3 and Yuri Perez gives us three innings in relief. The fans are singing take me out to the ball game, which they do not do anymore. Don't lie to me, game. This is America. We're all about imperialism here. We love we love singing God Bless America, because that, that, that's definitely a cool song. Way better than Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Not. Jesus Christ. Anyways, <laughs> bottom seven here. It is uh, Doors. Gets on second. Conalate is on first. Suzuki, 2-0 count, or 2-2 count. Grounds one right side. Even Suzuki grounds a double play. Jesus Christ. But then Padilla, 2-1 count to him. And he delivers again. Pokes one out the right field. Lands in for a base knock. It's an 11-4 game now. And uh, Padilla, 16 ribbies here in the postseason for him. Espinoza has 12. Can he tack on another? He cannot. Just dribbles it back in front of him. That'll be the end of the inning. We move things on to the 8th. We now bring on Hedeman with a big lead. All right, they tack on one. Then he gets out of the rest of it. Anything going for the bats? Nope. Okay, too close for comfort now. They score two. We got to bring in somebody else. Paco is coming in the game. The Brazilian right-hander. Can he send us to the World Series? Two down, Rod, David, I almost said Rod Barajas. <laughs> David Barajas at the dish. First pitch swinging. Here comes the pitch. Blown out to left center field. Kanalate is under it. And the Angels are going back to the World Series for the second time in three seasons. Make the World Series, lose to the Astros. Very disappointing 2038 campaign. And now, roaring back here with a 100-plus win season, moving on to the World Series here in 2039. Of course, your series MVP is Juan Padilla. He's a man on fire.